breaking late tonight, our state Senate approves an ICE cooperation bill. We first told you about it with a CBS 17 push alert. Amy Culler was there for that vote and the tense moments leading up to it. Amy. There was a lot of back and forth with it. Some senators questioning whether or not it was needed. Others wondering the message it would send, how it would be used. Still, it passed the state Senate 25 to 18. If you were in our situation, would you like your children to be taken from you? Immigrants, activists, and legislators came together outside the General Assembly. They called on our state senators to vote no on House Bill 370. This is the first administration to target crime victims with deportation and detention. The bill is a response to newly elected sheriffs, including right here in Wake and Durham counties, who vowed not to cooperate with ICE. In response, Republican lawmakers are trying to force their hands, requiring law enforcement to check everyone they arrest against the federal immigration database, and if flagged, hold them on detainer. This guy that they tell you is a really, really bad guy. He's committed crimes all across this country. He's on our list, and we want you to hold him for 48 hours. We need to think about what we're doing and the image that we're creating for this state. The debate lasted almost two hours. This bill is not directed at witnesses or victims. We know that our communities are safer when they trust their local law enforcement. Among those in the gallery, Durham County Sheriff Clarence Burkhead. If this becomes law, you will enforce it? Well, I'm, my oath of office says that I will enforce the laws of the state of North Carolina and the United States of America. So if it becomes law, we will uphold the law. The governor also responding tonight, calling the bill unconstitutional and saying that it was using fear to divide us. Now, the bill heads back to the House. The speaker saying it would be brought back up later this week or next. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.